Incoming webhook triggers for Thrive Automator are your time-saving, business-scaling, funnel-boosting shortcut so you can integrate almost any online tool with your WordPress website. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, here is your friendly reminder to do that. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So as you expand the functionality of your website with things like email opt-in forms, online courses, or quizzes, you might find that you want certain actions to trigger others. For example, you might want to tag a user in your email service when someone buys a product on your website, or you might want to give access to one of your products when someone is tagged in your email service, or you might want someone signing up for your email list on one website to get instant access to your product on a different website. Setting up automations like these can be a frustrating and complicated problem to solve. If you're techie, you might try a solution like Zapier. If you're not techie, you might have to hire a programmer to set things up for you. Neither of these is really ideal. So we came up with a shortcut. In Thrive Automator, you can now use incoming webhook triggers. Using incoming webhook triggers, any other web application can now talk directly to your WordPress website. This means email services, checkout tools, scheduling applications, online course platforms. They can all share data with your site, which means you can set up automated and integrated marketing funnels. Today, we'll be going over four use cases for incoming and outgoing webhooks that I think you're really going to like. The first use case is the ability to send customer data directly from a checkout tool to Thrive Apprentice. So instead of using a checkout tool and a payment processor combination, such as using Stripe with WooCommerce in order to take payments, you can omit WooCommerce altogether and just have Stripe talk directly to Thrive Apprentice. It's one less piece of software to install on your website. So although we love WooCommerce, when you use webhooks, you won't need WooCommerce to sell access to your online courses and memberships. All you need is to set up an automation in Thrive Automator that talks directly with your checkout tool, such as Stripe, PayPal, or Digistore24. We do have a couple of tutorials showing exactly how to set this up, which we will link below. The second way you can use webhooks is to grant access to an online course whenever a specific tag is added to a subscriber in your email marketing service. With this automation, you can do things like grant instant access to a free or paid course to your email subscribers. Simply send an email with a link that automatically assigns a tag. When the user clicks the link, that tag will be added to their profile in your email service, which can trigger a webhook. This webhook will tell Thrive Automator to create a new WordPress user and grant access. But what makes this automation really cool is that you can also easily revoke access by simply removing the tag. So if someone requests a refund, you can set up an automation to immediately remove the tag, send the webhook, and then you won't have to worry about people having access to your products who shouldn't. This automation is super powerful because of all the different ways tags can be added and removed. So you can have students sort themselves into beginner or advanced categories by asking them to click on a link in an email. Then each group will get access to a different set of courses. Or you can have students continue on to a follow-up course after they complete a basic course. Or you can even have other tools assign a tag in your email service, which will in turn give access to a course or product. So there's really a lot you can do with this automation. Next up, when someone books a session with you via a tool such as Amelia, Calendly, or Acuity Scheduling, you can automatically create a user account on your website and give them access to an onboarding course in Thrive Apprentice. This is a fantastic way to help your clients achieve quick wins or provide essential information so they can prepare for an in-person visit. Finally, you can use webhooks to connect two different websites. Since Thrive Automator supports both incoming and outgoing webhooks, you can send events and data between your websites. This means that if your main website and your info products are on two different domains, you can have someone sign up for your email list on your main website and give access to a Thrive Apprentice course on a different website. Just set up an outgoing webhook that gets triggered whenever an opt-in form is submitted, and then pass that data on to an incoming webhook on your other website. This is super handy if you run multiple websites or if you have courses on separate domains that are all part of a main business website. 
All right, so that was just four ways you might want to use incoming and outgoing webhooks. Now keep in mind that there's a multitude of ways to use them. If you're wondering how you might implement webhooks on your online business website, think about number one, what integrations are you currently doing manually where a webhook might save you some time? Number two, how you can level up your client or customer journey by automating an action. And think about three, what marketing funnels might you currently be running that you can supercharge by integrating them together? So let us know which webhooks you plan to use on your website down in the comments. If you don't have Thrive Automator yet, you can get it along with the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link down in the description to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.